Hey, uh, Tony, um, I wanted to follow up on something you said about uh, Khabib's uh, 1.9 million, uh, the 1.9 million people uh, that would be disappointed. Um, we talked to Nick Lentz a while ago, and he said that uh, that fan base kind of follows him wherever he goes online and kind of gangs up on the people that he's fighting or his team is fighting. And I'm wondering if the same thing has happened to you. Well, I mean, it is what it is. I had to deal with this asshole about three times already. And I'm, that's humbly speaking. But you know what? Honestly, shit happens. But, uh, you know, I got no, nothing but respect for anybody that loves the sport of mixed martial arts. But they're going to be really sad come that day, man, when I have my hand raised in victory. So, so did, have you had to deal with people, you know... Oh, I don't give two uh, shits. Maybe, maybe in the first part. Now I don't give two fucks, honestly, and I just don't. I'm too, I'm too busy. I post and I forget. I don't really give any. Honestly, I don't care. I don't care. My wife and I, we actually laugh about it. We're like, man, this guy's actually kind of cool. I bet you Google Translate by going crazy and their stock is flying through the roof. But you know, I have no hate on it. Uh, it is what it is, and it's the game. It's part of the game. But if you can't handle it, get the fuck out of the kitchen. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And next, we'll move to Kendrick Johnson with RingTV.com. Uh, my, my question is for Tony. How are you doing, Tony? Good. How are you? It, it, it seems like he, like he, he legitimately got you heated. Is he getting on your skin, or is it just that you're about that life when it comes to the, the game of martial arts? See that question again? I said, I said, is he under your skin, or is it just the, fact, the fact that you're just intense and you're about that life when it comes to the game of mixed, mixed martial arts? This dude's trying to take food off my table, bro. He's talking shit, so of course, man. Of course I'm going to get heated. This is a fight. This isn't checkers. This isn't, this isn't a regular game. This ain't Connect Four. We're out there slinging leather, man. This dude's going to get cut. Straight up. I don't have to talk too much shit. I, I think it is the, 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 if you were to be with the guy that first kind of put a loss on this record and, and um, stop him, I think it did with that being a feather in your cap. I can barely hear you. What did you say? I said, how big of a feather the cap would be to, to not only get a loss, but to get stop him. Cause I, 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 I can tell you're obsessed with stopping him. So if you were to make your, your goal a reality, how big of a feather in your cap would that be? Well, look, man. If somebody doesn't piss me off, I'll finish him in the first round. This dude pissed me off. I'm going to make him, I'm going to drag him into deep waters and he's dealing with a hammerhead. I don't have to talk too much about it, man. I, I've already talked. I already talked to him about it. You guys are going to see fucking fireworks. This should be the main event. I don't know why Stephen Thompson and Pete Woodley are the main event. But this shit everybody's talking about. This is the third time. Third time's a charm. Because I'm a world I'm champion. Gonna come, I'm going to come, 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 come after them hard. I'm going to come after them hard. I played multiple sports growing up. Man. I'm a two-time All-American, three-time All-State, state champ, national champ. This dude is not on my level. He is not on my level. As hard as I fucking work and I do what I represent from where my town in my state, from California to Michigan, in between and all around the world, nobody's going to take this away from me. I love holding my baby boy, and this dude says he wants to try to break my arm. I said, go ahead and try to bring that shit. You break it, I got other parts of my body I'm going to hit you with, motherfucker. So, you better be ready. Hey, you nervous about your arm? And next, we move to Heidi Fang with Las Vegas Review Journal. Hi, uh, my first question is for Tony Ferguson. You've been talking a lot about Conor McGregor running. If you were to get past uh, Habib Nurmagomedov, then when would you hope to face possibly McGregor and unify the title? I mean, do you think that's something that would happen next? Uh, Conor McGregor, obviously, he's in my weight class, and he's trying to avoid me by going over to boxing and, and whatever. I honestly, I can care less. This is a man sport that we play. I've been boxing for a long time. I've been with the, bo- the greatest boxers, been trained by them over in the 805. Robert Garcia is one of my first coaches. Joseph Janik, Victor Ortiz's coach. Now more to Rashad Holloway from uh, Wild Card Boxing. I've been putting in my work and putting in my effort, man. And, and Khabib and, and me, we're going to have this war. And whatever Connor does, man, I gave him a pass. I don't have to talk too much shit. He's got his kid coming up. I told him, go spend some of that money, dude. Go do what you got to do and earn that little thing that you got and then come back when you're ready to be a man. And, uh... You know, this is a sport I'm at 155. Once I'm done with this one, I'll move on and I'll make sure whoever's next, man, is going to get it. But uh, right now, the fight at hand is Khabib Nurmagomedov for UFC 209 for the interim title. And we're here to do business. You fans are in for, like a, in for a treat. I don't even think you guys know exactly what's going to happen. So much heat is going to be pressed on this, especially when I'm on my way to victory. You have no idea what this is going to bring for the fans, 
They've been waiting for this fight for three times. This is the third time that everybody's been waiting for this fight. Everybody just wants to see it done. I just want to see it done myself. I'm sure Khabib will probably agree with me that he just wants to get this shit over with. Mm-hmm. Khabib, do you have any response to that? <clears throat> what do you say? I was wondering if you had any response to what Tony said about hoping just to get this over with after the anticipation and buildup of having this fight scheduled three times. Yes, the first time I have injured. Second time he has injured. Yes, a lot of people waiting for this fight, you know, and uh, I am number one, he's number two. You know, this is you know, this is real uh, high level. You know, this, I think my opinion, this is great greatest matchup in life and history in UFC, you know. And he's a tough guy. <clears throat> I'm not easy guy, you know. And uh, March 4th, we'll see what happens. But I, I told you guys a lot of time what I'm going to do, and uh, we'll see what happens. I don't want to talk too much, you know, about this fight. Everybody knows I make this fight, and uh, Tony knows didn't make shit. I make this fight. I make he didn't make fight. shit. He didn't make because, shit. Because he tried to run away, but I say, it's okay. I, I've, I've never ran from nobody, buddy. But, I'm, but I ask you about money. Why you don't take money? I ask you about 200000 This is big money in USA. I don't want your money. I want the UFC's money. I'd do the same thing, bro, if you were my fucking shorts. I would. I would. I'd be like, you know what? Here's 200 k Go for it, dude. You know why? I don't need, the, I don't need the money, dude. I don't need the money. Yourself. Who fucking needs the money? Nobody needs the money. I want to beat why? your ass. That's all I want to do. That's why you're going to use lose yourself. That's why you don't take this money. Because you you beginning to cry with you and say, hey, I need money. Because you I don't want you fake ass money, dude. You, you know, know what? You keep that you money, you wipe your ass with it, do whatever the fuck you want with it. I don't give you know why why don't you do Why don't you donate it? Why don't you be a man and donate you that? You understand. No, calm down, calm down. Relax, relax. Yeah, exactly. Because you Very understand. Hard. You understand who is who and what happened after this fight. Because you you say you're number one, you but you're number one bullshit. Your, last your padded ass record ain't nothing. Hey, what are you talking about? Why are you asking about money? We fight. We're supposed to fight before two times. I say, hey, I have to fight with him. Let's go. Give me this guy. I can fight with him free. I don't I don't care about money. Give me this guy. And after UFC called me, my manager, I say, he... It's because you got too many people money. talking in your he ear, and that's money. your problem. He that's why money. I'm going to win. That's it. Your focus is around so much other bullshit, dude. You're, you're, you're talking about breaking arms and talking about fighting Connor and doing this and that and all this other stuff. Dude, I hear you. I understand no, no, it, man. You're going to lose. Conor. you got to look after yourself. I don't Go think ahead. about Connor. I think about you. I think I'm going to break you. This is what I think. I don't all think right. about Connor other stuff. What are you talking about? You talk about Connor. I, don't, I never. Dude, talk I am about unbreakable. Connor. I talk about I am Kenny. unbreakable. This guy chicken. This guy chicken. You, unbreak, are you unbreakable? We'll see March 4th. Yeah, trust me, dude. I'm fucking machine now. You have no idea what you're dealing with. You just woke me up. You're just funny, guy. You're just funny, guy. You're not machine. You're not my you, you keep laughing. You, you keep laughing. I'm the new John lose? Wick. Hey, how many times you lose? Danny Castillo beat your ass. You remember this? Danny Castillo didn't do shit. Danny he fucking laid on me, dude. I beat his ass, Michael too. Johnson. Trust me. The only Michael thing he could do is hold on for dear ass. life. That was it. <laughs> dude, you almost lost hey, to how many fucking times you lose? lose? Hey, you, you lost to Kibau. I'm sorry, but you lost the team. Sorry, I'm sorry. I hey, you remember that fight? Decision. Look, at, I'll post it up today. I will post it up today, and I seen you losing that Sambo fight, that Sambo match where you where you were fucking crying on your knees because you won or you lost. Sambo fight. When I'm 17 years old, of course I lose a lot of time when I competition in amateur, but professional career. Everything's been handed to you. Nothing's been handed to me. <laughs> Nothing has been handed to me. Yeah. I burned every you're, single you're step of the way. Nothing has been yeah. handed to me. And Jow for sure never got me here, motherfucker. Straight up. Thanks, sir. And my next question is for um, um, Steven. <laughs> Steven, is there any way that you can um, win the fight if the fight goes to the ground? Or is there any adjustments that you, that you saw that you have to make to um, make things differently? Yeah, man, you know, you know, in the last fight, I was, I was, uh, uh, Devil got caught on the bottom. Uh, Terrence got a good top game and he's very strong on top. Um, I do have a ground game. I just couldn't, uh, I wasn't able to implement it. He was just very strong on top. I was walking around very light and I could definitely feel that in those clinch positions. Uh, so working on my weight, uh, I'm feeling stronger now. Uh, my ground game is getting better every day. And, uh, yeah, man, we're working, baby. We're working. This is the top of the game. I'm fighting the, the best of the best. So, uh, game is getting better every day. 
And how big a deal is it to be, to be an MSG and fight them in that, uh, in that environment and be on that big stage? Is that something that you need? Because that was kind of like the, the biggest stage of your career so far. Then. Is that what you needed to get used to being on this big stage? Yeah, man, you know what? It, it, was. it was. It was huge for me being at UFC 205, uh, fighting time, and definitely a dream come true, man. And, and um, um, you know, I love it. That's why we're in the game, man. We're, we're here to fight the best of the best in front of the world. So uh, that was definitely the, the biggest stage uh, in my career. So um, we're going to be doing it again March 4th at T-Mobile Arena, and we're going to be throwing down.